It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with Chris Stapleton, who is still on vocal rest as per his doctors. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's got to cancel some more shows. Um, you know, it's fun to go to Nashville. Some people go there just to drink and party, and some go to, you know, uh, do the tourist thing and see the Opry and the Hall of Fame Museum and all that stuff. Well, it's also cool when you show up at a place and a big star performs, like Miranda on Monday night showed up and did a surprise show at the Nashville Station Inn for a few people. Love that. Yeah, it's that kind of town. Yeah, I like that. And music out today. Lady A with an album. Hunter Hayes, Dylan Carmichael. All albums today, plus Brett Young and Brett Eldridge both releasing Christmas albums today. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. A lot of new Christmas music, yes. Uh, Candy, I don't know if you saw this yesterday. Uh, Sad, crazy news on the set of an Alec Baldwin movie. I did not. What happened? So he fired a prop gun. It was a prop gun filled with blanks. It misfired uh, on the set of a movie he's filming in New Mexico called Rust. It's, I guess it's a a Western, and it was on a ranch in New Mexico. And two people were not only seriously injured, one of them, the cinematographer uh, Helena Hutchins, 42-year-old, she got airlifted and later died, Candy. Whoa. Yeah, and the director of the movie, Joel Souza, if I'm pronouncing that right, is currently in critical condition. Oh, my goodness. Now, I was doing some research and reading up on uh, prop guns on movie sets and blanks and what that means. And, you know, I guess there's a misconception. You think, oh, it's just like a, like a pop gun, you know, where you shoot it and just makes the sound. But actually... When they use a real gun as a prop with blanks, there is something that is discharged out of the gun, and oh. th- this misfired, and somebody was killed on the oh, set of the that's film. that's horrible. Wow. Yeah, terrible. And uh, word was Alec Baldwin was just in tears. Uh, I can believe that. He must be crushed. Um, and then I think back to, isn't this uh, Brandon Lee, how he died on the set of a movie? Remember that, Candy? Um, was it The Crow or one of those films, right? Right? Didn't I get that right, right? Bruce Lee's son, Brandon Lee. Am I, am I right about all yes, that? Yes, you are right about that. Okay. There there have been some uh, incidents before, but um, just, just terrible. Yeah. Uh, in lighter news, Will Smith going on a book tour in November. Five cities, Philly, Brooklyn, Chicago, L.A., and London. And it's going to be called evening of stories with friends and he's going to promote his memoir and bring some special guests and sit around and talk and answer questions and do some fun stuff so that's kind of cool very cool sometimes I pause just to see if you're paying attention kid oh I I don't know why you were pausing I thought you were going on and didn't want to interrupt you I thought maybe you'd have uh, some insight into the book tour but okay that's fine we move on Uh, Kate Beckinsale was being interviewed uh, the other day by Howard Stern, and we found out she has a 152 IQ. Very intelligent. She said it did her wrong. Yeah, that it might have cost her roles, that she was too smart. Yes. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Uh, Tommy DeBarge, uh, one of the founders of the great group DeBarge and R&B singer, uh, has passed at 64, Candy. Oh, no. And he had been suffering from liver and kidney issues. Uh, The trailer for the new movie Red Notice is out. It comes out in November on Netflix. Get this. It stars Ryan Reynolds, The Rock, and Gal Gadot. Oh. Yeah. And I still don't know if I pronounce it Gadot or Godot, but I... I'm not sure either. (laughs) But we continue with Gadot, and that's going to hit Netflix mid-November. One of the houses from Nightmare on Elm Street, Nancy's house from the first two movies, is up for sale in L.A. for $3.25 million, if you want it, Candy. Whoa, I don't. That's a hefty price. Uh, Two more for you. Home Alone is getting the Lego treatment, a set... For the holidays, 3,955 pieces, Candy. Wow. You you can recreate the full house from Home Alone, the van, the treehouse, everything from the movie. How about that? Wow, I like it. That's going to sell. That's going to sell, I think. I know. I do like that. And finally, Hallmark Channel. Tonight, the first Christmas movie of the season. 
Oh. On Hallmark, yes. Now what is a oh, Hallmark Christmas movie? Got yes, it. and it stars Danica McKellar and Jason Hervey, both from uh, Wonder Years. So, wow, I like it. Yeah, that is tonight on Hallmark. Okay, TV, you got HBO Max tonight, the new movie Dune, which is also being released in theaters. Apple TV with a new series called Invasion. Netflix with two new animated shows today. Saturday Night Live, Jason Sudeikis is your host, and Brandy Carlisle is your musical guest. Nice. And Sunday, HBO, Curb Your Enthusiasm is back for the 11th season. Candy? Wow, 11th season. Very yep. funny show. Very much so. And uh, there you go. You're bald and the beautiful everything from Nashville to Hollywood, my country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on my country, 96.1.